Today, we are looking at the new Mafex number 173 Cyclops, alternate comic version, or what I'll be calling it, the X-Factor suit. He comes packaged in a gloss finished box with plenty of suggested poses, but we're not here for paper, we're here for plastic. Today, the sponsors of this video is my partner's wallet. If you like what you see, I have new videos Tuesday and Friday. As of now, don't forget to follow, subscribe, like, and if not, the view helps. Thank you. The X Factor was the resurgence of the original five X-Men in the mid-80s. After many, many events, mainly the Dark Phoenix, the Avengers discover that, spoiler alert, Jean Grey is still, in fact, alive. Beast, Angel, and Iceman are job hunting, and Scott is living his best life with a Jean Grey clone created by Mr. Sinister. Scott learns that Jean's alive, and the X Factor forms. If you know this character at all, I'm sure you can assume why he would do such a thing. Although this is the most known, this is actually the second of three X-Factor costumes that Scott wears. With the lack of boots and gloves, this could have easily been the less popular version that came after the Extinction Agenda with the yellow X. No boots, no gloves, and it's the only one like that. If you read the series, what Mayfex made was essentially just Iceman's X-Factor uniform. Again, no boots, no gloves. But who wants that? This could have been a really easy fix just by adding some cuffs. If I decide to keep this one, that's just what I'll do. The Jim Lee era is great, but there's so much more. I would love to see the promise that they have put into the first series, because approaching this like they did really worries me. We've already seen this done with the Age of Apocalypse Magneto. In addition, or subtraction, this figure lacks a skull with his iconic cowl, which I would have 100% taken over the Scott Summers head sculpt. Without these small details, he just feels like he's halfway through getting dressed, especially when you can compare what he should look like right on the front of the package. Again, this makes me worry for the direction of these variants. I don't have the previous Cyclops to compare him to, but I can tell you that this body is in fact skinnier and taller. Articulation is great everywhere. His bigger blast effect can weigh down on his neck if you're having him aim up, but that's the only problem that I've had with it. These accuracy issues are what would make me hesitate to pick this one up. If those things don't bother you as much, and you just need a Cyclops for the shelf, then yes, this is a great figure. I love the colors, especially next to Magneto with the clashing red and blue. It looks really cool, and that alone just makes me want to hang on to it for a little bit. But that's the cool thing about collecting. You can make it yours. And Big Plastic never sleeps. They'll get it right one day. But for now, that's all I gotta say about this one. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting APR Action Posing Resource.